Okay, so hi everyone. How are you today? Okay, if you are asking how I am, so I'm fine. I have a healthy here on my table. So, okay. Now, what is needed for it is it maintenance. So, I will deassemble it and check what's wrong for it and what needs to be replaced. Okay, so I will begin from the handle. Because it's a really really big tool, so I think it's a good idea to remove the handle to have more space on the table. Okay, so it's a six screws holding the handle. Duty use. If you have heal to you don't give a fuck with it. Okay. So it's a handle. So it's going out here. So okay. What we have now we have we have amortizator here, amortization system, so it's broken now. You can see it's a piece missing here. Yes, I'll try to zoom it in. Yep, it's broken here, you can see the missing pieces down out there inside. So definitely we need to replace it. Okay. I will write it down. So, what we need to do now, we need to unscrew the screws here. I will try to do that with a color drill. Of course, it's no luck for that. What a surprise. Okay, so, I will use the key here. small bit okay what we have here okay it's going slowly slowly but it's going okay now I'll try to do that with the drill did it okay the second screw is here it's even not moving okay of course when you are assembling the assembling the big tool like this you need a power you need strength for some screws because it cannot be weak if it will be weak it will not last enough hard work conditions so yeah you need to get some power here okay so you can see that this plate is broken it's, it's used for amortization system so we will replace it okay so what we have more here we have more screws. Okay. What can we do now? We can try to open it back, open the back, and screw some screws here. Okay, I will start from opening the back with the controller unit. Okay, it's fucking heavy. So, just. Okay. Now I will unscrew the two screws here. And take this plate out, or it's necessary. You can not take out if you wish. Okay, of course I cannot take out. I can show it. Okay, so 
of course we need to disconnect the ground here it's a ground plate here so we need to disconnect it okay I will leave this plate for now okay. just taking it out from the plastic housing okay now we can try to take out the controller unit okay if I good remember we need to unscrew this screw here yeah okay just taking the screw out have the housing removed okay so you can see how big is the housing and how fucking cool looks this thing without a housing why they are not selling them without housing it looks awesome it looks like a good good piece of engineering so and it's now what can I see it's really really clean so it's it's nice to see the tool clean like this it's maybe it was not used <laughs> or something because it's really really clean okay what we have here we have the magnet for the clutch for the armature so so two ways we can do everything we want we can unscrew the screws and take the cap out we can unscrew these screws and take this out we can unscrew this cap and fill out some grease of course it's not a lot of grease here inside so yeah it's it's a way we can do I don't know in, in whatever way when we can unscrew these nuts and then open it but of course the grease will go out so I think we will start from the cap here from the red, red cap because the healthy grease is, is really like a liquid so He's getting out very easily. Okay, so what can we see here? I can try to put it upside down on the paper so maybe the grease will go out, some grease or not. So, yeah, the grease is going out. Of course, it's not, not much of grease, I think. I hope. Yeah, it's coming to the end. Of course, there's some grease still left out there, so... Okay, you can see the grease looks, I don't know, with the bubbles, white bubbles or something. It's black, so of course the grease, it needs to be replaced when you are doing maintenance for your tool, so... You will not give a shit and fill up a new grease, you can get the... Uh, not genuinely healthy grease on eBay. It not cost a lot because the genuine healthy grease it cost a lot of money. So honestly, I not think that it's worth it. Okay. Now I will try to remove the cap. Sorry, bumping the camera with my head. Okay. We will try to get inside. Okay. It's too much load for the drill. But I'm too lazy to get the screwdriver. Okay, fuck, I need a screwdriver. Okay, I will use my key here. go it will go okay so it was a six screws here so what we need to do now we need to remove the cap here so okay if you see some gaps or something you can try to lift it with a screwdriver okay so yeah it's a cap here so 
I will fold it like that up because it's on the recent sides still left. So just lifting the housing. Of course, be genuine, not break it. If you will break it, you will know how much it cost, and you will not break it again. Okay, so just cleaning some grease. You can see some nice gears, really, really nice gear. Okay, so scratch is made from manufacturer thing, so yep, it's a really, really nice. Okay, what you need to do when you're opening this one, you need to check the gears, of course. Now they are good, so checking the ball bearing here so it's definitely good checking the ball bearing inside just and spinning it so it's good okay 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 it's the o-ring oil seal so okay now it's good so it's going to the box with other parts okay so the grease is going out here, so I will just clean it a little bit from my table and we will continue to work. Okay, I think the grease is going out from here. I will take some more paper and okay, hold it like that. Of course, the grease will go out so. Now this one is missing for us to disassemble it, so we can unscrew the three screws here and take it out. Of course, we can try to remove the four screws here and then take it out all. So, okay, I think I will try a bigger screws. Okay, fuck, we don't have enough power. Okay, now for tools like this, you need a impact driver. I think. Or of course the key to start unscrewing. Okay. It's a four screws here. So move the screws and I will try to lift it. Okay. I think I will try to lift it with a screwdriver. I don't know if it will be easy to lift it or not. I can't remember because this is not a tool you decide and assemble daily. Maybe someone assembling them daily. I'm not. Okay. So I will try to lift it with the two screwdrivers. It's going out, okay, I disconnected it, so of course it's a wave washers inside, so don't lose them. Okay, now definitely we need a new ball bearing, it's a, okay, I'll try to zoom it what a ball bearing it is. Okay, it's not focusing on that. So, okay. It's a 608, so it's a 608 ball bearing. So it's not expensive, good ball bearing, okay. Of course, we need to inspect visually the armature. Okay. If you want, you can remove the armature. I'll try to do that, maybe it will go out easily, so then I will remove it. Honestly, nothing bad with this armature happens in the time. Because it's a, fuck, it's a brushless model. Okay. Fuck that pliers. 
Okay, yep, I need new flowers. I will try to leave the ring with a screwdriver. Okay. Now the ring is lifted, so I'm getting it out with the pliers. Okay. So now I will try to just hit the armature with a with the hammer. Of course, trying to hit it straight to not damage the gear. Okay. So it's out as you can see. I don't know what can happen to the hammer, maybe the Magnet can can go wrong here, so of course it must be not scratched, nor no without the cracks or something. Okay, now it's good. Okay. So what we have here more, we see the field is good, so we need to head get to here. The crankshaft. Okay, so it's just a cap here. What you can see here is a connection rod. Of course, you can feel how it moves. It's now it makes no compression. That's not very good because the hammer will not hit in all the strength. So of course that's why we need to maintenance this tool. Okay. So now we need to unscrew the nuts here. It's um okay. It's a 13 millimeters. Oh, I think. Yep. Okay, it's fucking hard to unscrew them. Okay. I will take the key here. I love this very key. Okay, it's uh, some piece broken from the plate. Okay, I'll try to unscrew it. Okay, fuck, can't do that. Okay, don't have enough strength, so we'll use the second key. Okay. Okay, just taking the nuts out of the box because we don't want the mess on, on our table. Okay, this one is going. Okay, it's going slightly, it's going. Fuck the key is stuck here. So, okay, we'll try to take it out. Okay, just 
the oh you fucker. Okay. So it's not always a good idea to use the this socket here, so okay. Of course now we will remove it with the fingers. Okay, it's a two piece from the same plate. fall out from the table so and the second piece here third one sorry not second third one okay and we will get to the place we want to be inside the cylinder all the hammer mechanism casing so most important part of this tool Okay, so the grease is still going out. Okay, now we will just open the hammer casing and we will check what's inside of it. So, okay, I need to push it a little bit, I think. Okay, how oh, oh, it's going. Okay, so now it's going good, of course the hammer here, we can see that it's have the slight worn out here, it's a bump here, so you can see the metal color is different, so we need a new hammer, definitely. Okay, now it's a flat washer inside. Okay, the grease is going all around here. I will fill it out. Or most of it. Okay, just inserting the paper. Okay, I will be cleaning this tool for a long time. After repair, because I don't want to be greased here. Okay, so what we have now we have some bumper here, the big o-ring here. So we need to check it for cracks, it must be soft. Okay, now it's no cracks for it, so it's, it's good. Okay, it's a plastic piece, so of course it must be not cracked or something. Okay, so what we have here now we need to remove all this housing. So, okay, how can we do that? We can try hitting it here, I think, inside the tool. So, I will try to do that slightly. Okay, you can see that's a small gap here now, so I will try to separate it to the screwdriver. Okay, so it out. So okay, what we need to inspect here, of course, the hammer. Okay, I will try to push it out. Just get out. Okay. As you can see, the this grease is fucking going everywhere like water. So, okay. Just checking the hammer for the scratch for the cracks. For now, so of course, the O-ring has got flat. So we need definitely we need to replace it. 
Okay. So we need a new O-ring. Of course, this O-ring is needed to replace. Okay, so now it seems good. It's not cracked or something. So just I'm wrapping it to the paper. how long it takes with this tool okay so what we have here we have the cylinder of course we need just to inspect it for the cracks or something it's not cracked so I'm just putting the paper to get all the grease to it okay so that was the Hilti TA1000 AVR with integration system so it's a really great tool this one needs only maintenance so that means the o-rings, the hammer, the grease and the ball bearing so it's really worth it to repair, it's a good tool working a heavy duty okay so of course I will be back with a video when I'm assembling it step by step so thank you for watching of course please subscribe my channel and follow my videos bye